What's up YouTube? My name is Wellington and you are welcome to another unboxing. And today um, we are unboxing this guy right here. Um, I've never used any of these. I was looking at getting the um, the glide glide gear and I was seeing really 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 good videos that this thing does too and I liked a couple of features about it because it's a little bit taller and I liked its weight configurations um, and it was cheaper so I was like hey I'm gonna try that one since I'm saving a couple of bucks I can pick up you know an SD card or something and I actually did so we will be unboxing this gentleman right here today and see what comes with it and let's get inside it comes with a bunch of junk in here from Amazon yeah as usual a box in a box thanks Amazon yeah this is a smaller profile I like that better get out my knife let's get opening this guy let's see what comes in here another useless box this is your carrying case it feels soft I think it's padded but you can keep some stuff in there you know I don't know all right but what's inside it's what we bought it's kind of nice for that price to you know come with a bag and everything and wow there is your guy it's actually assembled so smooth like oh my gosh I never used any of this so I'm so excited to try it out and Oh man, just sit there, baby, for a minute. Okay, let's first see what else comes in here. There's a coin in here, and then also there's a quarter 20 screw right there, and an Allen wrench, and there is your P4S um, user operating manual here. Is your strap for the bag because outside if you want to carry it on your shoulder which is ideal all right so I don't know that was a quick unboxing there's a ton of weights right here and this bottom heavy I know I need to do some settings and stuff, but hey, this is an unboxing, so we just get to look at it. So this is what releases your handle to adjust position is of the handle. You tighten that, and this will stay there. And this one here makes it taller. Like that's why I got it. It gets so much taller. So. I'm pretty sure I might not even have to use many of these way, maybe just one one weight or something. And it can sit really stable like that. So if I have my camera on there, I can let it sit. So it's like if I have to do something real quick, it's steady, like you'll hold your camera. I mean not to come and bump it, but that that's stable the reason I got this thing over um, the glide gear I was looking at before is this fine adjustments right here I think it's so cool like everything is numbered and the plate has a bunch of you know like holes and plates and and if I can figure out okay so you release that and open it up. That's just awesome. So 
Yeah, and then which one was this one? And it has um the bubble level here, and there is the bubble level back here too. And if you guys can see that right in there, which is awesome. Oh, man, I can't. This is like. I can't explain to you guys. It's like tight, you can't move it, but at the same time so loose, like it moves so, so freely. I'm excited to try this out. I've never used one, I don't know how everything works. I mean, just gonna be figuring this out, but hey, it's it's exciting just to, to learn what, you know, how and see how it works. And this is the ad adjustment for the vertical, so, I know, not in a shot, but yeah, so this will make it, make this right here, will make the plate, the camera either go to the, to the, um, to the left or to the right, and this one is for back and forth, so front and back, uh, yeah, that's awesome, I'm gonna be trying this out, and this has, um, it has a safety right here, and that's one gigantic cheese plate. <laughs> so yeah, your camera will not just fall out if you, you know, unscrew it or something. And it, you know, it clicks right in. It goes way far out, you know, for, you know, balancing stuff out depending on the lens you have on there, I guess. Not so sure about these things. I'm just saying. That's what I've been hearing people say. Flying this baby. 